Hello, I'm Glenn Woods, and I am coming to you from Palm Harbor, Florida, which is where I have my pottery business along with my studio partner, Keith Herbrand. Um, we run a business called Pottery Boys Clay Studios, and uh, we have been doing that since 2001. Uh, I have been making pottery since about 1974, but to be fair, that was when I was in high school. It was my very first piece, and I've done a lot of pottery since then. And I've tried a lot of different techniques, but I've uh, kind of landed on a technique now where I um, throw everything out of a porcelain clay body and then I finish it with a gloss or matte crystalline glaze. So in front of me you see a kind of a wide variety of things. I mean, I also do plates and platters and bowls, but um, these will show you a little bit about what I do here. And this, I'll start with this one. This is a gloss crystalline piece and it uh, has some piercing and some altering and beading and then also on the top here you see just a tiny bit of the carving uh, this one is a little better example of the carving but i'll talk about this one first um, this one has kind of my fantasy of a sea urchin that's kind of opening up and turning into a, a blossom or a flower but uh, a lot of people see uh, hints of nature in our work and um, I don't always see that until the piece is finished and then somebody comes into the booth and they'll say, wow, I love this uh, you know, lotus pattern that you've used. And I thought, oh, that's what that is. <laughs> but anyway, this, this is a gloss piece. This is a matte crystalline piece. And while this doesn't have a great uh, example of the crystals, it does show you how the matte crystalline glaze will really kind of enhance the form a little bit more so than the gloss. The gloss is so reflective it kind of takes away from that. But uh, here, you know, I've got the carved top, which is kind of like a flower, and it's pierced and beaded and altered. So this is a good example of all the different techniques that I use to create my work. This one is a little more literal in that, you know, it's a gourd. Um, but uh, it does kind of show you right now I'm doing something different with uh, creating some more streaked forms. Uh, so that's kind of current there. Um, this is a, a good example of a gloss crystalline glaze that I've altered. Um, I, I just love those spiral alters, how that kind of enhances the form, kind of gives a little lift there. The more traditional form for crystalline glazes would be a bottle, so I really enjoy making uh, bottle forms as well. And um, there's, there's just a whole host of shapes that I couldn't fit in this little video. But if you want to see more about our work, my work, Kate's work, um, and also where we're going to be doing art fairs and our annual event called Tour de Clay, you can just go to PotteryBoys.com. So I know that's long, it's PotteryBoys.com. And uh, on there uh, we'll have a uh, shopping cart, so if you want to buy some pottery that would be great, we appreciate that. So uh, check it out.